So that is the end of today was the end of April series, one of the most toughest month in any option seller's career, right? We saw we saw more gap ups, gap downs and all kind of thing gapping up, coming down, gapping down, going up. It was a very ho- very hostile and very volatile months. Even today, markets were highly volatile, but we managed to uh, managed our positions uh, quite efficiently even our members who follow us on uh, option sense app uh, had made a good profit of around four percent roi for this month so if you want you can download the app from google play store or you can check the link on the description below and we will also show tomorrow what we have done or how we have performed so coming back to the markets markets are still volatile and it rallied it gapped up around uh, 200 points i think yeah 200 points around 17200 it came to 17000 then rallied to 17320 then closed somewhere around 17213 so on an intraday basis from open to close it's just uh, up by uh, 30 or 40 points but from yesterday's close to today's uh, close it's up by around 200 points so that's uh, because of you know global queues positive global uh, global queues us market europe and even asian markets are all in the green and yesterday i think uh, facebook parent company meta uh, meta platform came out with a good positive results and that could be one of the reasons why uh, markets are us markets are our uh, us markets yeah, our mother markets are rallying and another reason is us gdp fourth quarter data is going to come out at 8 30 am us time and maybe market participants are expecting uh, better performance or better growth rate now what people are analysts are estimating is that us gdp re- data is going to come uh, uh, come lower than expected plus jobs claim data is also going to come up so this is our, these are all stock specific and one day incident so in the long run if you see markets are likely to go down only and if, and if you see bank nifty both nifty and bank nifty in spite of all this volatility uh, market were up and down here and there uh, going all the way places all places and it is very and the worst part is that even even though markets were going up and down here and there uh, india wix was also crashing so if had anyone go taken some short straddle or short strangle today uh, would have, uh, they would have uh, found it very hard to manage and uh, bank nifty if i if we talk about bank nifty opened around 200 points gap up then went all the way to around uh, uh, 36242 bank nifty was a good uh, performer today apart from hdfc bank all the stocks in bank nifty performed and if you see uh, nifty i think reliance also performed today uh, maybe because of crude oil and uh, all other things uh, i really don't know and even yesterday uh, fias have sold more than 4000 crores and i'm sure today also they have sold first half an hour and last half an hour fias was selling in between dais were buying so that daa you imagine what would happen if dais also start selling it would be a very bad nightmare right so hopefully we should uh, <laughs> we should pray that at least dais are there to hold this market dais and retailers are here to hold this market so as i told you in the long run we are still bearish and uh, yesterday i told 17500 call option i sold booked profit today and uh, that was the end of uh, april series right so today was the last day and we booked profit we didn't carry forward any trade of course we have some long-term options uh, which will expire more than five to six months away Uh, we are still holding that and uh, why we have taken is because of this volatility we thought maybe long-term options are good for uh, these kind of volatile moves gap ups gap downs and even india vix is very high so we tend to make collect more premium when it comes to long term options anyway i'll post a separate video why we have to go for long term options in these kind of 
times so that's a different story and uh, we cannot see uh, this one what is that uh, uh, open interest open interest uh, would it, wouldn't be uh, uh, data is not uh, today's expiry so no point in watching the open interest data but the whole the big big picture if you see the big picture is still we are bearish there is i'm still telling i've been bearish or for long uh, for at least one, 10 to 1 week and still we are bearish and we hold we say we are holding uh, we have written uh, call options aggressively in may series also so that's a different thing uh, we will see how uh, things pan out and um, as i told you us gdp data is coming out today morning uh, maybe if uh, markets are not, uh, uh, there is a disappointment in US GDP data, then the market may fall. So that's what I'm expecting. So whatever rally happened today is just a one day rally and uh, maybe market should uh, find it very hard to go going forward. So that's what I think. So it's been a very volatile month. It's uh, ranging from 17,000 to 17,000. But in this thing also, what we found out is that 17,000 is really super strong support. Whenever markets hit 17,000, it is uh, bouncing back or it is going reversing. So uh, there is a famous saying that whenever this uh, any support or any resistance is hit more times, it is going to be, it will be broken. So if you see as per that uh, law, then this 17,000 support should be broken anytime soon. We really don't know when that is going to happen. And this is because uh, this is earning seasons and uh, earning season and lots of companies are coming out with uh, results. Uh, we will see this volatility after this earning seasons, uh, season is finished. Maybe likely we are going to go on the downside, right? So that is the, <clears throat> these are the news as of now. So for next month, we are uh, planning to deploy some more call options and uh, yeah, the long run is bearish only. We are, I am not going to accept whatever you say, this 200, 300 points reversal and all is just an opportunity for FIAs to sell. <clears throat> Mark my words, markets are not likely to go on the upside. Even if it goes, it is going to struggle. There is no positive news at all. These are all uh, whatever happened, whatever price action you are seeing is just because of corporate results, stock specific. After these things are over, markets are likely to go down. Anyway, that was a, this was a very fine month, very hard month, lots of gap ups and gap downs. Tomorrow we will release the video, how much we post uh, made profit or how much we made loss. That is the thing which we do every month on month, right? So let's see how things pan out and nothing much to talk. Today's expiry and very highly one side trending expiry. I hope you people made good money. Uh, so thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.